This is the month for all those haunted and ghostly things. Yeah, Anna Marie Tatera is the executive director of Warnell Majors House Museums. Welcome to the show. Now tell us, is it haunted? I believe it is. The Absolutely. museum's haunted. Yes, I believe that it is. Now, you had an experience, not you had an experience, your husband had an experience just last night. He did, actually. <laughs> he was there. We have a woman named Denise who has done investigations at the Warnell House before. Mm -hmm. And she picked up, I think a year ago, she picked up a full body apparition. And so the Bio Channel is very interested in her story because they have a show called My Ghost Story. Mm -hmm. And so they wanted her to come back to the museum and see if she could pick up anything else this weekend. And so my husband actually went there last night to be with her in the house. And before he left, he was setting the alarm and uh, kind of off to the side, he saw this very tall woman in this very long white gown with her hair in a bun. And so he left the house, and Denise was waiting for him outside, and he said, okay, I think I saw something. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. And so he described the woman, and she said, oh, that's Roma Warnell. That's one of John Warnell's wives, and she's been following us around all night long. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so if you want to see this, <laughs> if you want to really see the bun hair, <laughs> bun head woman, yikes, folks can actually go on a ghost tour of the museum. Tell us, tell us about that. So we have ghost tours and paranormal investigations. Mm -hmm. This coming weekend is our starting weekend. It's the 19th and 20th, 26th, 27th, and actually this year on Halloween night on the 31st. So we have tours that last um, each an hour from 6 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's $15 per person. And really it's an opportunity to have a lantern lit tour of the house and hear about some of the ghosts who haunt the rooms of the Warnell House. We've had various staff members, even our previous executive director, mm -hmm. who have had many experiences, you know, different kinds of activity that goes on in the house. And some folks love this. They oh, can't wait to hear these stories. Absolutely. And the <laughs> stories are really rich and vibrant mm -hmm. and some involve adult some involve experiences by children um, and then starting at 10 each night we have paranormal <laughs> investigations so we actually have professional groups come in um, this weekend we have a group called paranormal distraction and then the following weekend we have elite paranormal of Kansas City and they come in and they conduct a real-time ghost hunt and it's an opportunity to be with them for several hours starting at 10 at night until about 1 or 2 in the morning or if you last that long. Yeah, if you last that long, <laughs> if you don't run screaming from the house. And, um, you know, you can ask questions and get a chance to use the equipment and experience um, possibly EVPs, which are electronic voice phenomenon, and possibly some other... My hair is standing up in my arms just even thinking about it. I need to come check this out. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's really a very fun job for you, I'm sure. Very okay, fun. Let's recap sure. uh, where people can find you and pull up the information on the sure. screen. Uh, as you can see, it's this weekend, and the... the Tours change in price, though, depending on if you're going on the investigative tour versus right. the regular tour. So you can do one or the other. That's exactly right.